Hello, my name is Gabriella, and today I will be reading The Dreamers by Karen Thompson Walker. At first they blame the air. It's an old idea, a poison in the ether, a danger carried in by the wind. A strange haze is seen, drifting through town on that first night, the night the trouble begins. It arrives like weather, or like smoke, some say later, but no one can locate any fire. Some blame the drought, which has been bleeding away the lake for years and browning the air with dust. Whatever this is, it comes over them quietly. A sudden drowsiness, a closing of the eyes. Most victims are found in their beds. But there are some who will tell you that the sickness is not entirely new, that its cousins have sometimes visited ours. In certain letters from earlier centuries, you may find the occasional reference, decades apart, to a strange kind of slumber, a mysterious, persistent sleep. In, in 1935, two children went to bed in a dust bowl cabin and did not wake up for nine days. Some similar contagion once crept through a Mexican village, El Niente. They called it the No Thing. And 3,000 years before that, a Greek poet described a string of strange deaths in a village near the sea. They died, he wrote, as if overcome by sleep, or, according to the second translation, as if drowned in a dream. This time, it starts at the college. It starts with a girl leaving a party. She feels sick. She tells her friends, like a fever, she says, like the flu, and tired, too, as tired as she has ever felt in her life. Thank you.